What happens when one of the two owners of a house passes away? My brother and I are equal owners of my deceased mother's house. He passed away and I want to sell the house. Does the house go to his wife or his children? There's two ways, of, there's just multiple ways of owning property, but there's two most common two ways. Um, as tenants in common or as joint owners with right of survivorship. Tenants in common, each person owns 50%. They own their own divisible halves. When one of the owners dies, it goes to that owner's estate. So if that person left a will leaving it to someone else, that new person's now the co-owner. So I can sell my half, it leaves your half alone. Gotcha. So, I can sell it to someone else. Yeah. Does, well, one my half, but yeah. Okay, but that person wants to live in the property now. Like, now. Well, that's a whole different issue. Okay. Each tenant cannot prevent the other tenant from entering the property. Okay. So there's like a, lots of issues going on. So it's this weird, gooey relationship where neither of you own the full house, but you can sell your half, but then that kind True. of fucks the other person over a little bit. Maybe. Kinda. So you're saying that might be this case, That might right? be this case. Gotcha. Well, the other scenario is yep. joint tenancy with rise survivorship. That just means the last person who survives gets the property. Gotcha. So there could be 10 owners on it. The last person to survive gets it. You don't have to outlive them by a second. So typically, most of the people who opt for joint tenancy are married couples. Okay. With the last survivorship. But it's less common for other relationships. So I would assume, knowing nothing else, if I were pulling up the deed, I would expect to see a tenancy in common. So I would say it to the brother, there's a good chance he still only owns half the property. And to sell it, he has to deal with his brother's heirs. Um, so hopefully he has wife, kids, or something he can, someone he can readily deal with so that they can go ahead and get the sale done. Mm -hmm. And if he is the heir, then that makes it easy. He has to, he has to file the stuff at the probate court to get um, his brother's estate resolved so, so he can sell the property. If he only owns half the property, can he still sell his half? It would be a longer process. So he, he could force what's called a partition sale of the property, where you can ask a court to authorize a sale of the property and then assign each person their half. Um, it's a big pain, um, but you can force, a court can force a sale of the property if that's the way they can resolve the issue. Yeah. But it won't make as much money. They'll hmm. typically have to go for public auction instead of being listed on the regular real estate market. So, so this would be to own part of an asset, not to like live in there, right? Like, own part of it. So the owners have to make a consensus about who lives on it. That's gotcha. like a whole different issue. Okay. There's an HBO show about that. They say like, they there's like these nine people and they're all nine great friends from college and they go and they buy a house together. This is like a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. They're like, they're like, oh, if we pool our money, we can get this mansion instead of all having to go buy crappy crap holes. What, what I would tell him is that he should probably be prepared to do a lot of paperwork. It's yeah. going to be annoying in yeah. all likelihood. <laughs> Guys, up. thank you so much for watching. Let's talk about death and taxes. If you want to talk with an estate attorney, um, feel, please reach out to us. Our website is uh, modernestateplanning.com. Um, also, uh, yeah, I don't know. You can give us a call, 404-939-7562. That's 404-939-7562. We'll help you make a uh, will, an estate plan, a trust, so that we, everybody can inherit the right stuff. If you have bad estate questions or something you thought was funny on the internet, yeah. Or from your funny from real life, please share it with me. Or not Leave even me a voicemail or something that's or answer, a legitimate question. Yeah. I will, answer, I will answer both legitimate and ironic questions. Yeah. You can email a voice memo or send me a regular email at um, info at let's talk about death and taxes dot com. Or you can email our my firm email at info at modernestateplanning.com Also guys, if you could um, interact with us in any way possible, uh, like re react to it, give it a like uh, and and post a comment um, if you do have any questions or any feedback for us, that would be awesome. And um, the, probably the best way that we could grow this show is if you help us by sharing this. Um, so if you could share, like I think there's these weird like echo chambers on the internet where like if you're super familiar with something you think everybody is super familiar with it and that's actually very not true um, especially for something like this, which is probably fairly small right now so if you share it that would seriously seriously help us grow via word of mouth um that's probably one of the most valuable things you could do to help us so please we would appreciate it um and with that i hope everybody's having a great day